restore her vision. Our special correspondent, Kurt Barling, has the story. Ah, oh, now he's going home. Story time was always the highlight of Sarah Massini's work with children. 14 months ago, with failing sight, she had to abandon all hope of continuing. In the last sort of five years, my left eye deteriorated so much that um, it was actually getting, becoming a struggle because um, I used to really enjoy doing story time and circle time. Um, and it was getting to a point where I couldn't read um, the books. Suffering from a rare condition, an iridia from birth, means her eyes have no irises. Her family never gave up hope of stopping the condition getting worse. As her sight deteriorated and the corneas obviously were deteriorating, I never gave up hope that perhaps something might happen one day with all the wonders of medicine these days. Corneoplastic specialists at the Queen Victoria Hospital in East Grinstead have developed a technique using stem cell therapy to repair damaged eyes. Taking stem cells from the limbal ring of a donor eye, many more cells are grown in a laboratory. The resulting sheet of tissue is then transplanted to the damaged eye and the patient's own body produces new stem cells to heal it. The body is really an amazing structure. There's a lot of wound healing that takes place all the time and it makes sense that there, that there are circulating stem cells in the body that go to areas that need help. And what we're doing here is we're creating a wound healing reaction, we're putting somebody else's stem cells in place and there must be some signaling going on between the donor stem cells and the host saying, hey guys, we need some help over here. And the, the host comes along and because they belong to that body, they're much more hardy and they're going to survive in the long term. Now Sarah is waiting for the operation on her right eye, which means she'll be able to continue her career working with children. A fairy tale of her own. Kurt Barling, BBC London News.